everybody. It has been a few days, as mentioned earlier. Let's crack the knuckles. Get back in with some monster train. Hey, what am I doing up here? This is a, this is not my beautiful house. Letting the draws go by. Let the covenant rank go down. Or up. Let's let's let it go up. We got awoken umbra with the buff debuff. Which means we could lose spikes if we end up going spikes. And then this is Immortal Trade. Don't have to put that on an ember. Or a morsel. I'm always thinking about putting this on a morsel. And then Edge Prior for the draw. It's not a particularly strong start, but I've actually grown to like the Awoken Champion. Do we have expensive spells? We have a one-cost spell, which does nothing for us. So I think we will take the Sting, even though, admittedly, that Anvil is really good, and I do say no to it way too often. <laughs> but we are going to go with the Spike... Um... Sure, why not? We are going to go with the Spike Champion. I, even though we got a buff debuff, I think we can overcome it. Uh, if, <laughs> but... I, I genuinely believe we can get there. I think it might be a little touchy, but I think we can get there. So I don't mind you hitting me for five and dying. Um, I feel like... Oh, is my mouse going wild again? Cat hair, man. The, the mouse killer. I think we're better off maybe dealing with this upstream problem and then getting one of these out there just to slow the bleeding. Remember, I mean, our champion exists entirely just to uh yeah we can do this healing spells cost less on this floor i for some reason i actually thought you were the one that gave us extra draw my mistake um the champion exists exclusively just to soak up hits uh particularly on the actual boss themselves would be fantastic for us so you're not doing that much damage to me right now you're only taking 15 if you hit our pyre once do we care not really. Do we care about lifesteal? Not at all. Um, so I think we'll get this set up. What are we drawing next turn? A couple of train stewards? You know what? Let, let's get weird, dude. I, I got some weirdness involved here. Let, let's get weird. We should have no energy next turn. But let, let's see how... We, <laughs> let's see how this super train steward stands up to abuse. We can still cast this. How much damage are you doing? None. That's that's a bad start. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Um, might as well just hit you twice with this. This is gonna hurt. I would say mission failed. On this one, right out of the gate, I would say that things did not go uh, according to plan. <laughs> it's okay. We'll we'll get over it. Um, I mean, the, as many regen triggers as we can get is really nice. And you're, you're taking 95, which is pretty great. 110. You're dying. That's surprising to me, but I'm, I'm a fan. Don't get me wrong. just want to see how this... I guess we can't see how it would affect the numbers, but that's not too bad. I, I mean, that was a pretty good start. Now, if we could only give this unit an attack on top of that... The lifesteal would be even more precious. Um, dude, I gotta tell you. I, I keep letting myself get shamed into not taking Glimmer. Because whenever I stream Monster Train, people go, it's not that good. I, I disagree. I disagree, KG. I don't really see it on this one. I don't see it on this run yet. I don't see that, that Primal Dust being what we need. No, We do have Morsels we're not doing anything with. So an Umbra unit that gorges... Is interesting to me. I still really like the robot. We, he's been part of the part of some runs where we haven't necessarily crushed it, but I still like him. I am interested. To, well, let, let me get started here first with one of those. That's kind of a gimme. The thing is, you don't want to make your uh, edge prior endless and then put it at the front because you want it to exist to allow you to heal your champion. You want to make sure you're getting the spikes on the champion, so to speak. So, is there anything else we'd rather make endless? I would say for now, the answer is no. Although I do, I, you might not believe me. Come to respect the value of, of endlessness. Sincerely. 
Even quick doesn't matter to me that much. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna purge one of these basic shade splitters. I do. We need morsels. Don't get me wrong. Why not? We need morsels, but there are better ways for us to get better morsels than merely the the shade splitter ones. And you know what? On on this one, I think I'm not gonna turn it on. I think I'm not gonna turn it on. So, usually, we will want our champion down at the bottom. I think we want our robot up at the top so he has time to get ready to gorge. Um, and then, Vine Grasp does fine. I, I think I prefer killing the tanky unit. You're going to die anyway. You're going to take a hit. You're going to be able to get us uh, the gold from the collector if they spawn. No, you won't because there's a tank, but okay. Well, there's no butt, but you get the idea. <laughs> Um, so we know we like edge prior, then restore pace for itself, and do it if we can now, after this, get the, uh, superlative for our champion that allows regen to do damage, which we did have the option to get earlier, but if we get it after this, oh baby, we got a stew going. We got a stew going. So as far as I'm concerned, the next step is this right here, um, in order to make sure this guy has fuel. I hate that you're getting away, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Yes. Okay. This feels okay so far. Like, this feels like a run I'm relatively comfortable with. Um, oh, Glimmer is free on this floor, too. Ooh la la. Um, having another floor with some spike protection seems sensible to me. That seems very nice. I would prefer if you didn't heal, so let's knock you out, and you're dead already. Let's hurt you, I suppose. Let's heal you for free, and let's make sure that you still got a morsel so that you can have some fuel for the future. <clears throat> and then we'll land this one. No more spikes on this guy. You're only taking 80 damage. Pretty bad. 80 damage. 90 damage. <laughs> it's a start. You don't have to live longer. If anything, um, we would rather... I mean, we have so much energy. Just work with me for a second here. If anything, we would rather have units go behind so that they can live to do more damage. Yeah, exactly. So n you should never put... And this, I can't believe it's taken me this long to come to this simple realization. You don't want to put tanks in front of your tank. Twenty damage. But for this situation, I think we're better off putting a tank in front of you. You don't sweep, do you? You do have spikes. Okay, so the spikes are the real problem. Here. I see. Now you're not making it through this floor as long as we got fuel. We do not have fuel. Um. <laughs> That's disappointing. <laughs> We're still gonna make it through, uh, just- oh my god. Incredible. We're gonna make it through just fine, our pyre is gonna take 4 damage, big freaking whoop, right? No big deal. Alright, so note to self, if you get the chance to- uh, another morsel generating card would be of, uh, the utmost value. I think a second glimmer is totally fine. And honestly, I'll, I'll pay premium price for a morsel miner. I would like to get a card that gives us maybe like two for one, like an Antombra Assault. You knew I was going to say it. No, no use beating around the bush. Friendly units enter with lifesteal too. I think it's not that great because our champion is not that good, but for the robot purposes, it's like really good. Um, oh, but they have to get hit first. I really think this means we never have to take energy. I'm going to try this guy, but I really do think I overrate him. Um, I did finally get a gold at some point. Copy a card, copy a card five times. We don't need five unupgraded glimmers, I'll tell you that much. Could we use maybe another... Um, I mean... You might not love it. We don't need five robots either. We probably don't even need two robots. I think maybe like one more. 
Well, you know what? Screw it. Let, let's go with one more glimmer. Um, because it does give us rejuvenate AoE damage. It heals. And then, as mentioned, I want to stress it, though. The rejuvenate triggers are of the utmost value. If we can get some more units that it applies to. But I think our deck is a little unfocused right now. That's my complaint. I would like to focus the deck. Preferably, it would be sick to not die as well. So I think, like... Am I okay with you taking 10? Just to get you set up? I think I am. Oh, and we got more energy as a result of doing it. I, I think we could put a train steward down just to block for you, brother. Uh, it did explode twice, but... Because, oh, it's not 10, it's 20. Okay. Use that noggin. Use that noggin. So remember, two summons equals you get three energy back. So by playing this, which we want to play up here, we are going to get enough energy to play the rest of our cards, which is super, super important. We don't need lifesteal, and we definitely just do not want Ember Drain to. Right, 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 I understand. Our champion does not seem long for this world. We need another train steward to tank for them while we heal, I think. Don't get me wrong, like the double glimmer is is worth something. <laughs> I screwed this up. We should have played a train steward somewhere and then played the shade splitter. But uh, it is what it is. You, you're not going to have fuel next turn. So I don't think we're killing you. Um, so what gets summoned? You're going to lose three. You know what? I'm a dummy. Why don't we summon this? And then you will have fuel for next turn. And you can get some kills. I think we should really try to keep one morsel per turn coming for that top floor. Now, the real tough part here, until now, was finding a way to not have our champion die. That's super nice. Um, can we summon two units? Can we summon two units? Yes. Like so. It's a very... High degree of pog associated with this. Um, just trying to think about. I mean, there's no real reason to play a mortal trade on you. Are we killing anything? That gets a kill. We don't want to vine grasp you to the front, though. So we'd probably just do that. And we might as well give you plus two and some life steal. It's not a lot, but it's something. All right, I think. I think we've made it through here. Remember, if you can summon two units, you're going to be a little bit happier. Give me, like, the glimmer up here. And then... This is pretty good. Um, I don't really know where you put this train steward. I guess you could put them up here. And they can be the tank on this floor. It's kind of... A, it's a little weird, but I think it's not bad. And then... This is free... You're gonna get hasted, but we got fuel, so I'm pretty sure every... Oh, no, you died to Spike, so you don't even get hasted, dummy. Way to go, idiot. Um, I don't even think we need the energy bonus on this floor. It would definitely look a little bit like this. This, this, this. This is not really helping our case, is it? <laughs> um... You still need fuel, so don't don't lose sight of that. Life steal three. I wonder if this will do anything. Because we have life steal now, I do think we want the train steward up in front. Clearly, that didn't change anything. All right, not good. We did like, oh, you know, I was just like, why did we do no damage to you? You know why we do no damage to you? Because uh, none of our units on that floor really did any damage at all, is the answer to your question. So, dude, I mean, lifesteal three on this guy. <laughs> I was just going to say, that's going to change things uh, quite prodigiously. So as, as busted as this looks, I don't think we're dying. I think our Pyre will probably take some hits. Mostly because... You do have fuel. 
You have no fuel? Are you kidding me? I thought you just got one fuel. This is better. You're dazed? So you well, what's happening here? 21 still? Dude, this is bad. I think we're dead, dude. I, I cannot seem to make the robot work on the top floor with the days. It's bad. Try me again. But I'm, I'm not too despondent over it. I'm just a little surprised, honestly. Just a little surprised. Okay, Umbra melting is potentially very, very powerful. Because they both... The Umbra kills a lot of units with gorges, and melting gets a lot of value out of units that die. Um... Plus 40 health on the Pyre might be worth a lot, honestly. But I really think Entombed Explosive... Because we have other Extinguish abilities, I think maybe the, in the early game this could give us a lot of a lot of leg up. A lot of leg up. You know, like Led Zeppelin. It's a lot of leg up. Let's go, let's go Glutton. We, in, in principle, I feel like eating pairs better than just uh, going wide unnecessarily with the melting who might have cards like um, the melted evil or whatever it's called that just does damage based on the number of friendly units that have died one of these days we'll be able to play excavation eruption and everything I can't wait I think we're gonna let you guys go I hate it in some sense, because it is going to do a lot of damage to our pyre. And I honestly think you should just take a hit to protect our champion. It's going to be a bit of a, a weird start, and by weird I mean just like not good. So we want you to gorge. This will do 70 damage, which is pretty awesome. Um, so the, the gorge would then come down here. Okay. You're only doing three damage to me, dude! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Well, it, it works a lot better if the enemy units actually live long enough to, to uh, kill your... or do enough damage to kill your extinguished unit up at the front there, but I think that's gonna happen right now. Um, Dude, I, I feel I'm, I'm still off my game. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I still feel off my game. Let's let's get two units going up here just for the next floor. Hopefully slow them down. No slowdown required. This actually isn't that bad right now. Don't get me wrong. It's not good. But as you can see, we're, we're doing just fine against the boss itself. Yeah. I mean, these, these uh, extinguish units are going to... 75 damage is just so much. That's what I'm trying to say. I do think we want uh, more morsels. I do like Space Prism a lot as well. If we could bring units back, I do love a giraffe. It's, it's, with Holdover, this is a very interesting card. But I think we're going to get Dripfall. For the versatility of descending either myself or one of my units and an enemy unit simultaneously. Um, you know, I, I, both of these are like, just funky. I can't seem to make them work. Um, but this guy has been... Better for me long term. Even though you probably thought I wasn't going to take it, which was an adequate suggestion considering the situation. Dude, Endless on one of these Entombed Explosives is... Very, very good. I also feel like Burnout 1 on the other one is really good. Although maybe Burnout 1 on the Endless one is a little bit more sensible. Yeah, you know what? In hindsight, I think that that one makes a lot more sense to do it that way. It's alright. The, the shop is for the melting. We're going to figure it out. I'm not sweating this one. We got a ton of ability to do damage. A ton of ability to do damage. And you guys being hasted, which is not what's happening here. You guys having spikes bothers me a little bit. You guys being hasted don't bother me at all. You're going to hit for five. I'm going to try something novel because clearly I can't be trusted with the daze mechanic. We're going to try a robot on the bottom floor. 
ladies and gentlemen. That's good stuff. All right, so you're crushing it already. You're also getting a kill, which is real sweet. But what if we blocked a little bit for you and also let you get some more kills in the future, I'm assuming. So you got... We want to give... You're not dying. This makes me so upset, dude. <laughs> I can't stress enough. You're supposed to take the hit and then perish. All right, you're multi-strike. I'm going to give you the damage. And I'm going to give a champ the HP. And you know what? Why don't you guys just chill out up here for the time being? Until you burn out and prove completely useless. Um, don't mind that. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. You're really... Oh, because we're, we're not a multi-strike unit, so how would we get the kill? That's a, that's a valid point. I don't think our champ is making it to the third floor, so I'm not sweating these burnout. This is pretty much what we're looking for. And I've, I've realized the, the problem now. Our robot doesn't eat because these extinguished dudes live too long. That's a bummer and a half. So our robot's gonna do nothing, but both of our extinguished units are actually gonna crush it. And then they're gonna get, well, one of them's gonna get respawned. And then all of a sudden, you're toasted. Okay. So we, we that was a good opportunity for us to learn something about how not to do it. I'm very happy to have Space Prism. Um, I do like the idea of putting Burnout on our Endless unit. I'm gonna give this a shot. As far as an, another Gorger, I do want one. We need like a, a theme on each floor. I think maybe Damage Shield is a little bit better than Life Steal. But if you give that unit more capacity for HP, it is... That's something. That's something beautiful. Now, I'm just thinking. What about two Endless Entombed Explosives? Do we really want to draw two of these per turn? It's really hard for me to say no. I have, I have a bias against duplicating units. Because I worry about too many kitchens... Uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. Not too many kitchens for the cook. Um... Hold on, hold on, I'm thinking. I think the Hellhorn is kind of universally a little bit more interesting. Like, 5 damage for Rage 7 was what I was looking for. I don't want to get heal, I don't want to get, like... A high damage spell could be interesting, but I feel like making uh, a unit either armored or enraged is stronger. But, I think in this situation, how do you say no to a unit that'll block 1 or 2 hits and then do 70 damage? It's hard to say no to that. So you come out with a damage shield. We want you eating, because fuel is, uh, <laughs> has been a sore spot. We'll put our champ on the top floor, which means the damage shield Umbra unit is going to live on the middle floor when we get him. This is a little spicy, um, but this is also the exact reason you summon something like this. And all of a sudden, doesn't look too bad. Crucible Warden. You're going to take a hit, but you're not going to die. Shouldn't have done that, but it is what it is. 40, you're going to take 15. I don't really care if you hit the pyre. Let's get this dude uh, working. Let's get him. Let's get his damage shield up higher. This is a much better position than our last one. You still have fuel, right? Oh my god, do you ever have fuel? But on top of that, oh my god, the endless unit comes up here and is just gonna wipe the floor with you. I got no problems with that. And then you, you know the dream here. Turn one morsel into two morsels. Let's go double up on your damage shield, and we'll give you one as well, of course. Preferably, I'd be giving you a lot more than one per floor. But it is what it is. Because we, we'd really love to stack your fuel up as high as it'll go. Dude, this entombed explosive. I don't know if I ever fathomed... You are dying. Okay, so we can give you lifesteal. Let's give you a little HP. Let's make sure you're gorging. Are you gonna go... Oh, you'll gorge if I put this here. You'll gorge. You'll gorge. I don't know where you play these dregs, to be honest with you. What I do know is that every time I draw these uh, entombed explosives, I'm a very, very happy man indeed. We don't need to play this if we don't want to. I'll tell you what we could do. No, because we don't want to ruin the gorge. 
Right now, I would say we have too much Gorge ability. We do kind of want an Endless unit to die, though. But this will only kill one. And we're, oh, I didn't give you any fuel! You do have two, but still. I don't know about that one. I don't think it's gonna matter too much, but still, it's it's the principle of the thing. That's helpful. Um, I don't think this is gonna change things too much. I did think about moving this guy down, but I think we actually do a lot better to extend, to make them go through as many floors as possible. Because if we only make them go through two floors that have enemies, they only have to get through the Entombed Explosive two times. Whereas if we do it this way, they gotta get through it three times, which is obviously, if that's gonna be part of our game plan, that, that matters a lot. I do like this, but I think we already have something that goes in that front spot, so I think this is actually Shroud Spike to get those super gorgeous. I, I kind of don't like any of these right now. I think we got a good thing going. We are going to go Capacity, and we need more cards that create morsels. We need more cards that create morsels. I also feel like Relics are really powerful, but I do kind of want to see those spells. But let's take a free Relic, but... The Melting Relic seems so good. Apply two damage shield to the first friendly unit summon per turn. It's really good. However, we do want our Entombed Explosives to die um, immediately. So they would have to be the second unit summoned every turn. Otherwise, they could screw up our Gorge. So I think we'll instead just take this. And it's that's not a decision I make lightly. We don't, we're going to go non-gorge focus. Because really, our, our champion hasn't done much of anything at all. Um, the way that we're going to get them stronger... Well, I don't know which way we're going to get them stronger. I think we can... Okay, fine. I'm going to allow you. I'm going to allow you to do damage to my pyre in exchange for money. And with the merchants being cheaper, the money is worth disproportionately more. I think that makes sense. So I like this as a start. This, to me, is a good start. I was going to say I prefer if you didn't kill me. Um, and then I think we do just... Don't get me wrong, it's dangerous, but... Rage plus multi-strike has very rarely steered me wrong. We could have killed one of the units, but it would have given actually plus six damage, because it gives plus two to all other enemy units on, on death, so... Um, so we know we need the Crucible Warden to anchor a floor. Right now, they wouldn't be killed. They would come close, though. Are we willing to live with that? Well, here's what I'm willing to do. Put up a blocker for them that doesn't mean much to me. You're doing great. You're the interesting one here. So I think, um, let's set it up like this. And you're about to get, like, a super boost, so I'm going to give you a little extra juice down here. I'm going to have you eat the health morsel six times. This will be easy? I don't think so, brother. So far, this is not bad. But I will not deny, we need more morsels. I love that. Um... More morsels is a problem. So you got tons of fuel. Let's get some damage shields on this guy. And then you really... You're taking 43. I can't, you're not dying. Man, that's annoying. <laughs> Let's put a, a drag bag there to do some damage. And you guys are both dying. I'm not going to waste your time with a train steward or another drag that could screw up our gorging. This is more along the lines of what I'm looking for. So... I also really like forcing units to go through the floor multiple times. Although you do get stronger the longer you live. So I actually think what you do... Oh, this is an easy one. Hit me with that drip fall. 
So you're welcome to this floor where you're doing nothing. And then... An entombed explosive up here. To protect our champion. Oh my god. You mad genius. Would you? You couldn't. <laughs> Could you? I'm not even sure if that benefited me, but it felt right. It felt very right indeed. Um... Yeah, and, you know, why don't you take life steal? because you're going to die anyway. You're doing fine. You're taking four damage. Big whoop. It's a brief respite I could I could do with, honestly. Um, we like it. We like it. Uh, I don't think we like anything else just yet. You're only taking 86 damage, which is bad. Don't get me wrong. Um... But I feel like that definitely helps. And I feel like you summon this guy for zero and then smack him. You have five fuel. I think we can split the difference on that one. And then give you... How much damage do you do? 13? I don't know if you're going to live much longer. So let's give it to the that guy up there. Okay, that was totally fine. You're dead, dude! You didn't even do anything and you're dead? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I told you, we're a two-floor kind of player right now. I also feel like a second Shroud Spike could totally work. We have so much gold. Um, this may be the only time that I say engulfed in smoke is not what we're looking for. We don't really care to reform a unit right now, though. We know we, we're already bringing back the unit we'd love to reform every single time. I think maybe Memories of the Melted could synergize unbelievably well with Shroud Spike. And for the first time in like a week, I feel like we're off to the races. So with no removal, I don't really want to duplicate another spell. So I, I, I do feel like we're back in unit territory. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Morsel units get a damage shield or enter. Give units 50% chance to have dazed. We don't really need tanks. So I guess by default, I think you go concussive coals. Um, the robot being. Well, I don't know. It's, it's a tough choice, honestly, because the. Crucible Warden being quick will save some damage shields, but the Alloy Construct being quick will save some damage. Some HP. I almost wonder if you don't do a lot better with, um, like, a large stone, and you do better with quick, because on turn one, your original HP is so small. And then... I, I do think you reroll. Just work with me on this one. We're looking for large stone, which we got. And I think with large stone, you have to make him bigger. Okay, now... And then you come out with the damage shield anyway. And now we can talk about removal. Because, like, none of our other cards are worth anything at all. Train stewards. Even, like, I'm going to cut the train stewards first. But the dregs are worth nothing. They're worth s very, very slightly more than nothing. Because I can summon them as an enabler for uh, Antumbra Assault. But that's it. That's really it. So I'm feeling calm and I'm feeling in control. Umbra melting is a good combination. Restore all HP when you move up a floor. For an for a random artifact. I think we can do it. Um, but basically what this means is your pyre is gonna get the crap kicked out of it. Are you okay with that? Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm hoping that there you go. I'm hoping we can slow some enemies down by uh, by summoning these guys up in front. Um, I actually think if we want to kill something, we put our alloyed construct on the top floor and then wait for some fuel for it. And then we do like this guy on the bottom still. Oh, baby! Let's go! And then get summoned so you burn out and uh, get out of our deck. I'm just thinking. Everything's going okay here. Um, nobody's dying right now, but that's okay too. I think we slay you. Who cares about a healer in this unique situation? And we make sure you get a ton of fuel, or as much fuel as possible. And then, 
I don't really care about you again. It does not matter. So, we'll put you up here. As of right now, you don't need a damage shield. And... Nothing else matters here. I think we will hit you. Give you the rage. The dazing is nice. I'm very happy with that. So we'll gain four energy off of this. At least we're getting one unit killed. Um, you're obviously living. I think you just really have to keep the fuel going here. I don't think you play this yet. I, I really don't. Um... Honestly, though, I wouldn't mind summoning you guys as damage shields right now. At least one of you. I don't think we want a second one. Probably. Well, let's let's start with the shade splitter, and it is the energy relic. So I don't I don't think or the energy uh, morsel. I don't think we want to shroud spike it. Quite frankly, how much fuel you got? Two. All right, you're gonna keep tanking up, and then I, th yeah, I think we save that. It's kind of like a, it's a wombo combo play. Love it. Oh baby, that's so good. <laughs> this actually working out is unbelievable. I'm gonna say we gotta be on brief respite territory, and then we love this. You're not dying though. You're gonna tank up. I, I don't know how to stop that right now. I do know you should have as much fuel as possible. You're dying, which is actually great news. And you know what? I, I think we accept that our champion exists to do whatever they can do. If they can do some damage, great. But really, that's not their role. Their role is just to kind of take out basic minions. It's working pretty well. So hold on. Start me here. Eater gains plus three. How much fuel do you have? You only have three fuel. So we're basically abandoning this floor. I'm content with the damage. We'll get as much as we can out of it, but we're abandoning this floor. Um, and we're going to have you eat more. Which makes sense that you get the bonus there. We just wanted as much fuel as possible. And again, if you could take one hit for our uh, Gorge Collector, then even better. Do we still have? We do still have two space to do this. I know what you're thinking. Descend this guy. I know what I'm thinking. I accidentally don't have enough energy for it. So no, no, I will not. <laughs> However, the tanks that are going to block on the bottom floor are the same as the tanks that are going to block up here. They just get they get to go through it one more time, you know what I mean? So th this is a big positive in my world. And then we did have 23 energy. That still went pretty well. More than 23 energy. When you play a random unit, or when you play a unit, a random card is reduced to zero. Uh, that seems pretty good with what we got going on. I really don't think we need any of this. I really don't think we need any of this. What do you do? You remove buffs and debuffs? We don't really have that many buffs or debuffs. <laughs> I think this is the part where we've realized the deck is good, and now we put the screws to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me some gold. Give me some removal. And again, the train stewards have got to go. But really, the, the drafts are the... The dregs are second on the list. A double stack card. Admittedly, Rage 14 is substantially better. That's, that's an enormous improvement. I think we do want to make this cheaper. Excavation Eruption we can get around later. And I want... Well, actually, that's pretty great right there. But I want some removal. So, remove consume. That's interesting. Um, I don't I don't know. All of these are really pretty great for us if we remove consume. Um, I do feel like maybe Shroud Spike has been the best of the bunch. But Packed Morsels, that's pretty great for the Morsel quality. 
And this is like a, an unbelievable wombo combo, don't get me wrong. I think we'll try it on packed morsels. It's just, it's, it strikes me as a little bit more consistent. Um, I guess we will make this cheaper. And then plus 10 magic power. Why not? I'm still, like, my number one thing right now, I think, is I want removal. I think removal is the most valuable thing for us to dump. Uh, or for us to get, I should say. Because, like, the deck is tight. But the faster we draw these extinguish uh, wax units, the happier we are. I'm just thinking. So whenever you play a unit, another card in your hand becomes very cheap. Am I losing it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, why can't I? Why can't I play you? Um, now you're huge, so I, I I still do think the capacity down here probably matters the most. Why not? There you go. Not a bad start. It's too, a little too early for that. By the way, this whole time for 40 minutes, probably should have been right about there. I apologize. Um, we are going to play our robot because it's it's an important one to play. We Look, no matter what, our deck is going to take damage. Or our deck is going to get worse, which means uh, we're, our draw is going to take damage. There we go. My brain finally put together what I was trying to say. Um, but we can at least make sure our pyre doesn't take damage because we're realistically going to be able to play all of the debuffs or all of these terrible spells for zero, which is awesome. Um, or at least most of them. So you need fuel. It's well known. You need fuel to thrive. Um, it's tough, dude, because I'm like, man, what's better? 14 rage or killing this thing so our pyre doesn't take 7 damage. Maybe it's not that tough of a decision. I think we actually want it on our champion, who is going to be able to do more damage with it early than our robot will, quite frankly. Really, just keeping this robot eating is, is about the best I can do right now. He's He's got enough built-in damage to not be that concerning. Let's put it that way. And here, okay, now we're starting to get there. Robot, for now, does not need lifesteal. Let's give it a bunch of fuel. Let's make sure this unit is actually doing something for the first time in a long time, which is not its fault, I'd like to be clear. And let's get our champion eating with a damage shield, no less. And pretty soon, I think we've crested. I think we're at the point where we're we're doing more to them than they're doing to us. Now this is very interesting indeed. Double shroud spike on the same turn is not good. Um, Now, summoning these units, if you'll just work with me. If you'll just work with me. You're doing great. I love you're healing to full, so I'm not going to give you any help. Um, you're doing fine. You could always use a little gorge trigger, I think. These are free. And then, plus three. I really like when you have a lot of fuel. So I think that giving him six eats here is, is really strong. Um... And let's summon a drag down here, basically just to die and get out of our deck. Everything looks fairly stable. We finally got to our Entombed Explosives. Basically the card we were looking for for the whole time. Um, you summon just to make this cheaper. You're not dying, that's interesting. I can certainly live with it. We want you to take some HP. You're taking six damage. You're taking six damage, but you need it more. So you get a damage shield out of this. And the gorge. Unconcerned. As if one word, unconcerned. You're both done. Because you have burnout one, why not stack it on top? Um... You do six damage, might as well. Might as well put the block out here. 
I, I don't think we really need a descent of, of any kind. We'll just make sure you still have enough fuel to function, and, uh... I mean, everything's hunky-dory, dude. Alright. So this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Two hundred and thirteen damage. Realistically, summoning a morsel in front probably not going to change that too much. I don't know. I do uh, <laughs> find myself slightly concerned. This floor, I also do not expect to be very huge for us, um, but we do still get basically a hundred and ninety flat damage. Um, we're gonna get a damage shield of one. I think that works way better on him, to be honest. And then... Yeah, I'm sorry to say, those that's the way you go there. We're gonna make Memories of the Melted work at some point. I think that might be a good target for Permafrost. Okay, now you gotta be in a world of hurt. You're not dying yet. But you gotta be in a world of hurts. Now you're dying, but, but I'm having too much fun. Okay. I really... They, like, this was a lesson for me in the idea that I don't really think I need... Oh, I mean, this is unbelievably good here. Uh, I don't really think we need energy. I think, if anything, we might need draw, which is super situational. But I, I we haven't run into a capacity wall, really. I, I think this was the way to go. Though a little a little unusual, I think it was the way to go. We want to stick with this, I think. Um, it does mean we can only have one other unit on the floor with the champion, and I think that's that's okay. So we're gonna cut these drags into pieces. I, I'm, I, I apologize. Um, multi strike. This is a rare situation where it's, like, completely useless. In fact, now that I look at it, I'm like, do any of our units need anything? And the answer is really no. So I actually think you maybe look like a complete fool and go straight into removal. And then save your cash for the next uh, relic and or magic shop. I, don't, I really don't want to risk this one, even for 400 coins. I think we... I've been in a rut in this game. So having the opportunity to get out of a rut seems real nice. I want you to die on the next floor. And the way I'm going to do that is... Oh, so simple. First off, why don't you get summoned just to get killed and you'll make something cheaper in the process. Now we can play everything. I want our robot to destroy you next turn. The way we're going to do that is by turning him into a superhero. I'm gonna tell you as well, I do not mind losing... Oh, he's dazed! He's not even gonna hurt us, dude. Okay, well then we'll do it like this. Never mind, that was a whole lot of... Much ado about nothing. We are still gonna be Ember Drain for one by him on this turn, but... Well, actually, we're probably not, because I think we'll just play Excavation Eruption. And, and come out of it looking completely fine. Um, it's weird, we actually don't want to... You know what? Hold on, hold on, there's something here. There's Maybe there's not something. I would love it if there were something, though. I don't know why I was trying to make energy work so hard. The thing is, I want to play Entombed Explosive down a floor. But if we have to play it up a floor, it'll probably still work. And then we desperately need you to get fuel for the future, and then we can easily get away with that. Okay, okay, this is good stuff. We do have a Shroud Spike. So in general... I'm fairly tempted to just Shroud Spike the healer plus damage shield, so you're eating it four times. But it's gonna have this guy eat it four times. That's not that good. 
I am like, okay, what if you shroud spiked the energy relic? And then just, but we don't want to give that guy a ton of stuff. I screwed it up. This is a, just let it go. Just let it go. None of these cards do that much for you right now. And that's my bad. They look cool and they would summon a lot of energy, but the energy would not do anything for you, though it pains me uh, a lot to admit. You need more capacity. All right, let's look at this. You're doing a ton of damage. I think that's fantastic. Um, I think this is not that good. However, wait, you're both dying off of this? Oh, never mind, I think it's awesome. Um, let's still make sure we're getting some more cells for, uh, you know what? Let's give you this one. Oh, of course you're dying. I forgot that uh, our robot does damage. <laughs> it's not merely uh, advantageous in order to hit something. Or in, in order... Of, let me rephrase. It's not only the Entombed Explosive that does damage. So check this out. I'm on a new level. That also made Memento Mori cheaper. Or free, really. You're not going to die, though. If you're not going to die, I'd rather summon this up here. Make this workable, and then we'll just eat next turn. Dude, I think we got to... It's hard for me to imagine how we lose this one. Now, there is an incredible dream. Something like this. This. Nope, it's just another way to generate a stupid amount of energy. You know what? For science, let's do it. So, you would gain 18 energy, and then you would eat this thing 42 times. Oh my god, I forgot about the gorge triggers. Alright, there is a reason for it. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's solid. You're doing 4 damage in a sweep. I don't really care about the Ember Drain, <laughs> honestly. Let's just set it up like this. And you're quick, right? So you're gonna... Oh, you're not getting the kill, though. That's worse. Um, but there's there's still something to this. And it looks like this. You're gonna live, so we don't really summon anything up here, really. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What's the point? Well, now that made everything insanely cheap. By the way, the dude's dying on the bottom floor, you dummy. Why would you do that? If you just lived, you would beat me, idiot. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, so now we've come to accept the value of Shroud Spike more than I've ever thought of before. We don't really need Feast. I, I understand you get to play more Morsels, but we haven't had the, uh, that problem, honestly. Furnace Tap is pretty interesting. To put Furnace Tap on your... Like a perma a Permafrost Furnace Tap on your champion or the robot in the final fight, that's got some solid stuff. Stealth is probably still good. That's how committed I am to the stealth aesthetic. But I don't think it's for us. This is one of the few times I'm like, it's not really for us. So, this time... The only reason we're coming here is because we I would like some spell upgrades. Um, and it's really, really hard to not just take a packed morsels every single turn. Because it will also make three cards in our hand free. On top of giving us amazing morsels. Memento Mori is also ridiculous. Like, truly staggeringly good. We're talking 170 damage per turn, based on where we were in our last one. That's probably also free. Yeah, that's, that's worth more. Um, it is. It is. This card... Honestly, let's get it. Let's upgrade it to remove it. Let's make this cheaper just in case it doesn't become free, but it will likely be free in most circumstances. We definitely should have looked at this first. 
Even the extinguishability I don't think was that important. Do we have tomb units? We do, but do we need five energy when they die? Yeah, why not? And then, I am kind of like, what if we had two Memento Moris? <laughs> it screws up our draw, something fierce. But if we don't want to play one, then we don't play. We don't want to play two, we don't play two. So something, this seems very workable to me. Okay, hold on. We want the endless unit first. Forgive me for this one. I still think we set this guy up a floor higher. Um, I don't think it's worth summoning this guy yet because he's not endless. Now let's let's get him pogged up before he dies. Okay, you guys are dazed. You love to see it. So what do we like here? We do have our memento mori. It's 20 damage. I sleep. We wait for that to come back around. The robot has to be summoned. And check this out. You guys thought you were getting away. Thought I was what dead? Like my partner? He just threw off the cliff. I kind of want him to eat it 12 times, just so he gets 12 fuel. Now, the, the, the energy for it is not really that meaningful, I'll admit. We'll save him some damage. I'm like, hold on. You're going to do 35 damage to the front enemy unit. And you're going to trample for 80. How does that kill you? It only does 115 damage. Thirty-five, eighty. Maybe I'm dumb? Maybe I'm dumb. Let's go with dumbness on that one. Okay, you're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. We got our other Memento Mori. Now it's doing 40 damage. It's a little bit more respectable. We don't, we don't turn up our nose at 40 damage. Would I say we get pogged? Maybe a mini pog, at most. I will play it. So this is starting to become pretty potent. Now we got the Memento Mori. It's doing 50 damage. Certainly would not say I sleep. Um... Oh my. You love to see it, don't you? Me too. You're dazed, so I'm not really sweating you. You're extraordinarily toasted. You are dying, which is actually wonderful news. Um, because it means we can get a Gorge Trigger. And don't forget about Gorge Triggers on your champion. Like, as we saw, they got busted with all these Super Gorges. So we got a double Memento Mori. Ten, ten, twelve. Dude, our champion was dying there. Ask me uh, why I'm not afraid of our champion dying right now. I think you're going to get an answer that's uh, going to tickle your fancy. We could use some lifesteal on him. Which means we should pay attention to our morsels. But um, Now we're doing 160 damage per Memento Mori. That's pretty good. You might as well get a little buff. Let's have let's have you gorge a little bit. You're doing fine on fuel, right? Just check it. I gotta check in on you. You're doing fine on fuel. It's a beautiful thing. There's another 160 damage coming your way. And it only gets stronger. It only gets stronger. You have so much energy too. Oh my lord. I think I like this. And then. Damage shield? Yeah, but we don't want to put it on on you, though. I'm sorry to say we don't want to put it on you. So maybe we will not Shroud Spike this turn. Unfortunately. 
wonder if that burnout too will stick around. Might be nice. Alrighty. <laughs> I think we have 300 different ways to win right now. It's a nice place to be. You're only taking 60 damage. Admittedly, that part has got me a little bit scared. But you got 11 fuel? Okay, let's give you a damage shield. We should have done this slightly differently, but that's okay. Alright, you're taking 223. But this isn't even the floor you're supposed to worry about. This is the floor you're supposed to worry about. You're taking 248. 318. 388. That's 200. That's 200. We got 40 energy. Don't, don't. Just, just, just don't, okay? We're only doing 40 damage to you. Just, just don't. Like, what if you just didn't, dude? What if you just didn't? What if you just didn't ruin my hopes and dreams on the final boss? For the 3,000th time in a row. Oh my god. So what ended up being the problem? Well, we should have had our champion gorge. That's the simple answer. If our champion gorged with those shroud spikes and got the bonuses, they would have done a lot more damage. The other answer is... Uh, the extinguished guys don't do as well on a boss with 2,000 HP. But they crush all the other enemies. It was still a lot of fun. I still had a great time. I hope you did too. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now though, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya. We made progress today. I'm not sad. See ya.